So this is second job and we're gonna be doing a um, uh, carpet cleaning and a quick uh, cleaning of the home. This is a luxury apartment uh, job that we're doing. This is for a regular client. We've had this client for about four years. So they just need a, actually it's a rug cleaning. Yeah, so they just need the rug cleaning and then the, um, just the house cleaning. So uh, keep you posted and stay tuned. So this is the rug that we're going to be doing today. It's a uh, polypropylene rug. And uh, start out with the pre-vacuum. And then we're going to uh, start the cleaning. There is a lot of wear in this rug. We're not gonna be able to restore that, but this area right here just brightened up a whole lot despite the wear. Uh, we've got a good amount of peroxide in this solution. We water rinsed this first, and then uh, we applied the solution. So, it's coming out really nice. It's actually really brightening up quite a bit, more than I thought. Even though this is a lot of wear right there, it's kind of darker, but it has brightened up. And this is just where the this is just the main place where this gentleman sits to watch television, because that's where his feet are. Can't move that, that's what's holding the uh, couch, making it even. So we're scrubbing now, and uh, then we're gonna extract and dry the rug with the next bonnet. Oh, and I've also been alerted that they want the floors done too, so that's perfect. Even though this is only a little bit of flooring in this place. Um, very small, about 700 square feet. And uh, they have pets, so that's what we're doing here is we're taking care of this right here. It's essentially a pet treatment. We make no guarantees, but carpets are looking great. Smells great. And off to the next moment we go. And this is the uh, glider for the Auric, and you can get these from Corey at Carpet Muscle TV. Uh, you just text them uh, 350, I'm sorry, 512-350-1129. And uh, they do a great job. Um, let's, take, let's take a look at the bonnet that we scrubbed with. This is the two-way bonnet. You can see um, how much soil that picked up just from the scrubbing. And let's attribute a lot of that to uh, the gl glider, uh, creating less friction 
and allowing more RPM and less resistance so the machine works better, more efficiently, and cleans better. You just take a look at that. That's not a cotton bonnet. Cotton bonnet is uh, more absorbent, picks up soil better, but you could see right here that looks great. I mean, great, well, the bonnet looks, you can see the contrast where this, the glider was and where this is at. And just so people know, um, I did the math on it. If I'm remembering correctly, this covers 36% of the bonnet. If I used a five inch CD glider, it would cover 25% of the bonnet. So this is uh, 36, I believe, with the six inch Challenger glider and I can check the math on it. I got them all I, I got them all written down all the different uh, configurations written down at home but off the top of my head I believe it's 36 percent and stay tuned <laughs> and here we're doing the drying process And there's one of our friends there, uh, a great big dog in the bedroom. He may or may not come out. He was out earlier greeting us. So here we went over with the microfiber bonnet and uh, to dry it both sides. And uh, we're just going over it one more time with another two-way bonnet and stay tuned. Okay, so here's three bonnets. Um, you could see how much moisture that picked up. That picked up a good amount of soil. And then there's still some soil left in the third bonnet, but you could see it's quite a bit cleaner than these two. So um, the carpets now, or the rug, is about dry. So this will be a good stopping point. It's much cleaner, much safer. And uh, if I were to flip that bonnet and go over it again, it'd probably be way lighter than that. So. Um, this is a good stopping point. You can never get all the soil out with any method you do, whether it's HWE or VLM, but the goal is to make the carpets as safer, cleaner, and better than the way you found them and giving the customer peace of mind.
And we just did the LVP also. Both sides, it's dirty, so it's not too bad. Put the chair back, it's uh, all dry, uh, post vacuumed, looks great. And thank you for watching.